Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm in the culinary program. Why did you join culinary? Um, I joined it because I actually moved here recently, and I had already had two years of culinary myself, and I thought I'd continue it. Just the process of cleaning and then baking or cooking or anything and then cleaning again, so it's like you get something good out of it. I love all of culinary, just everything about it. What is Mulligan's Grill? Mulligan's Grill is a restaurant and um, we're going to be opening it very soon. It's going to be open Wednesday this week. People come in and get stuff from the culinary, the culinary program. We cook, bake, and we have a menu and everything. So it's like a regular restaurant. Students get food there, teachers do, people outside of the school. So it's really nice. Why do you like Mulligan's Grill? I like it because it's, it's like you get real life experience out of it, even though it's not exactly the same because it's in a controlled space. It's still similar. How are you prepping for Mulligan's Grill? Oh, we're doing a lot. Our teacher is running us through the basics of how to run the restaurant. And we're also prepping for all of the stuff that's going to be grilled and the stuff that's going to be fried. Basically, we're doing a lot of everything. <laughs> for the first half hour, we get pre-orders. Basically, everyone in the kitchen will start like 15 minutes before opening, I believe. They'll start cooking those things through depending on the um, lunch block. How successful do you think Mulligan's Grill will be this school year? Ooh, I bet it's going to be really, really successful. I'm Mr. Durkee. I teach health and PE here at the high school. Uh, the Clovelink Drive is a fundraiser that we started. This is our 10th year doing the fun right, uh, doing the closed drive at the 11th drive we have done. Uh, and it's to support local uh, families in need. Clothing drive takes place. Uh, we collect from usually the first day that we can in December. So uh, this year was December 2nd and it leads all the way up until December 19th is our last day of collection. And then we organize, sort, clean, fold and bring it downstairs to the cafeteria. And on the 20th, uh, we open it up to the community from 530 to 730 to come take anything uh, that they may need. So this is run by student council and uh, all the organization and the sorting, folding, cleaning, and hosting is all done by the students here at the high school. So this started 10 years ago, and it started in a very small matter um, and has grown exponentially since, but uh, it started with a connection with a amazing woman down in Haiti who was looking to get uh, shorts or light clothing um, for the cooler times of the month down in Haiti. Um, and we managed to grab a, a few trash bags full the first couple of first year um, and she took the opportunity to ship those down to Haiti uh, for the kids in need down there and unbeknownst to us she sent back uh, a bunch of handmade jewelry that the kids had made for us so it started there and then grew from helping kids in Haiti to why don't we take care of the kids in our community as well I encourage anyone to come and take part in the closed drive it's an amazing opportunity one for community service for team building and, and uh, working with your classes and other students, but it also gives you a different perspective on what goes on in our community. Um, you know, and, and you may see people that are in need of things that you never knew, um, and it may just open your eyes to some of the things that may be going on in this world. I am here every single day um, and folding after school, usually from about 2.30 to 3.30, and we are just organizing, sorting, and folding everything um, and just getting it ready. We have kids after school every single day to help out. On average, we typically have between 200 and 300 people show up on uh, the actual clothing fair night. So it, it, it reaches out to a lot of people, uh, mostly just to the people in the Seacoast area. Um, but we've had people from Maine. We've had people come all the way from Londonderry and Bedford the past couple of years. Um, it has become very popular. So there's a lot of people that come out and, and uh, come and take the things that they may need. Donations come mostly from just Summersworth. Uh, if there's some people outside of Summersworth that would like to donate to us, that's always accepted. Um, we've had donations from Bedford and Barrington and Milton and a couple other towns around, um, you know, of staff members or families that work in the area. And they put it out to their friends and they donate to us as well. 
Um, so the donations come from everywhere, and then we give them back to everywhere as much as we can as well, too. So we encourage it to anyone that needs it, anyone that needs support, anyone that may need some winter clothing or some blankets or a jacket or hats, um, whatever those small things are. We even have, we got little toys and pillows and, uh, you know, iPod players and belts and jackets and all kinds of different things. So anything that people may need um, in the spirit of winter, in the spirit of the holiday season, you know, we try to make this available for people in a time of need. Um, and again, it's free, so anyone can come take anything they need. We've had people come in and leave with just a few items. We've had people come in and leave with trash bags full. Um, so they come and take what they need, and we encourage them to take as much or as little as they need. Um, I can't even possibly calculate how, much, how many items we have. Um, from what you see in my room right now, this, this is very minimal. Um, for people that know me in this closed drive, I'm usually stacked up to this gray bar above my head all the way around my classroom. A couple years ago, uh, a week into the closed drive, I had 125 boxes stacked away and my, clothes, and my classroom was filled. Um, so we fill our cafeteria, every single table in our cafeteria two feet high. We start bringing in other tables, we fill the stage. Pretty much anything I could possibly, any spot I could possibly put stuff, we put stuff. So I can't even put a number on the number of items that we bring in. Hey, you're in viral.